China has taken over the rare earth element market and the West is trying to catch up. They are struggling to beg China to ease some of the restrictions on the West concerning sanctions of rare earth export to the West. As you might have already guessed, China want to control the next technology revolution, which is AI EV, interloop, space technology, Mars colonization, and electric planes. Yes, I said it, electric planes. You hear it first from us. The world is now secretly building electric planes that will be commercial very soon, and the first country or region to commercialize this sector will be ahead of others, and others will definitely play catch-up. For contest, September 27, 2022, the world's first all-electric passenger plane, the Alice, took its first flight from Grant County International Airport in Moses Lake, Washington, USA. This is the race that is secretly happening, and no one is talking about it. But it's the reason China is sanctioning the West on rare earth resources, and that is why the America is doing everything to take over Nigeria and Guyana rare earth resources. No one is talking about this, but this is the secret fight. But who will win this race, and how can China ensure their continues dominance in this field? Stay with us till the end to find out. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Czech YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. Chinese state media has played down China's actions in the global rare earths market amidst growing concerns about China's attempts to dominate this crucial supply chain. Rare earth elements, a group of 17 metals including critical minerals like lithium and copper, are abundant yet challenging to extract in significant quantities. These elements are pivotal to technologies that are central to the global shift towards clean energy and are also integral to defense industries worldwide. Last week, China's Commerce Ministry announced new restrictions on a list of technologies that are prohibited from being transferred overseas. Notably, this list includes equipment used in processing rare earth elements and magnets. Industry experts view this as a reactive measure in the ongoing technology-focused tension between the U.S. and China. Both nations are keen on consolidating their respective high-tech supply chain advantages while simultaneously restricting the other's access to maintain a competitive edge. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots. So your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. In a significant move in October, the U.S. Commerce Department restricted Chinese access to advanced semiconductors, citing concerns that these were inadvertently aiding China's military modernization. In retaliation, Beijing hinted last month at limiting exports of critical elements necessary for semiconductor production to the West. The new controls by the Chinese Commerce Ministry on processing equipment escalate the conflict further up the supply chain, an area where China's state-backed firms have maintained an advantage. The state-owned China Daily newspaper reported last Friday that China processes about 30% of the world's rare earth minerals and controls approximately 70% of the global demand. However, the newspaper claimed that the latest policy was not targeted at Western countries. An opinion piece in the paper urged the West to focus on developing its industry rather than blaming China. Contrarily, the Global Times, in a Sunday editorial, stated that China had actually reduced the number of technologies restricted under the new policy. Contrary to Western focus on rare earth-related hardware, the tabloid downplayed the move's impact on the global supply chain. Yet, other actions by China have fueled speculation about its intentions to cement its dominance in the rare earths market. The South China Morning Post from Hong Kong reported a significant increase in China's import of critical chip-making lithography systems from the Netherlands in November. Customs data revealed the import of 42 lithography systems, essential for high-end chip production, totaling $816.8 million, primarily from the Netherlands and Japan. This surge in imports, despite U.S. export controls, suggests that Chinese companies are still able to obtain specific advanced hardware, likely in anticipation of tighter U.S. restrictions in the near future. It also highlights China's strategy to strengthen its domestic semiconductor industry with Western technology while it remains accessible. China's maneuvers in the rare earths and semiconductor sectors illustrate a complex interplay of economic and technological power with significant implications for global supply chains and international relations, the country's ability to navigate and potentially circumvent U.S. 
Restrictions indicates a sophisticated approach to maintaining and expanding its influence in these critical areas, as the U.S. and China continue to vie for technological supremacy. The repercussions of these strategies will likely resonate across multiple sectors, from clean energy to defense, and shape the landscape of global trade and diplomacy. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and comment. The strategic importance of rare earth elements cannot be overstated, especially in the context of the burgeoning clean energy revolution and the ever-evolving demands of global defense industries. China's recent policy maneuvers in controlling the export of technology related to rare earth processing signal a deeper, more nuanced strategy aimed at reinforcing its position in the global market. This approach is not just about dominating the supply of these elements, but also controlling the technology and processes that extract and refine them, thereby exerting influence over the entire supply chain. Understanding the significance of rare earth elements requires a closer examination of their role in modern technology. These elements are critical components in a vast array of products, from smartphones and electric vehicles to wind turbines and military equipment. Their unique properties, such as high conductivity and magnetism, make them irreplaceable in many advanced technologies as the world increasingly transitions to green energy and digital technologies. The demand for these elements is expected to skyrocket, making their supply a matter of strategic importance. China's dominance in the rare earth industry is not a recent development. Over the past few decades, China has invested heavily in rare earth mining and processing capabilities, positioning itself as the primary supplier of these critical materials to the global market. This dominance is not just a result of the country's abundant reserves, but also a consequence of its willingness to bear the environmental costs associated with rare earth extraction and processing, costs that many other countries have been reluctant to shoulder. The recent tightening of export controls on rare earth processing technology by China is seen by many as a response to escalating trade tensions with the US. The move is strategic, going beyond mere supply control to encompass the technological aspects of the rare earth industry. By restricting the export of processing technology, China not only solidifies its grip on the supply of rare earth elements, but also places itself at the forefront of technological development in this sector. This strategy has significant implications for the U.S. and other global powers. The U.S., for instance, relies heavily on China for its supply of rare earth elements, which are essential for a wide range of American industries, including defense and renewable energy. The recent U.S. efforts to curb China's access to advanced semiconductors have further complicated the situation, leading to a technology tug-of-war between the two nations. In the face of these developments, countries like the U.S. and members of the European Union IT are being forced to rethink their strategies regarding rare earth elements. This includes exploring alternative sources, investing in domestic mining and processing capabilities, and developing technologies for recycling these materials, however. Such endeavors are not without challenges, including high costs, environmental concerns, and the time required to develop these capacities. The global impact of China's rare earth strategy extends beyond the realms of economics and technology. It also has significant geopolitical implications. Control over rare earth elements gives China considerable leverage in international relations, particularly in its dealings with countries that are heavily dependent on these materials. This leverage could be used to influence political decisions, trade agreements, and diplomatic relations. Moreover, the rare earth sector's dynamics are also influencing the broader landscape of international cooperation and competition in the fields of technology and innovation as nations vie for technological superiority. Strategic resources, like rare earth elements, become pivotal in determining the power dynamics of the 21st century. China's move to tighten control over rare earth processing technology is a calculated step in its broader strategy to assert dominance in this critical sector. The implications of this move are profound, extending well beyond the realm of trade to encompass global technology leadership, environmental policy, and geopolitical power dynamics as the world grapples with the challenges of a green and digital future. The control and management of rare earth elements will undoubtedly play a key role in shaping the geopolitical landscape of the future. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe.
to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.